and that looks pretty good. All right, guys, so today's a super exciting day. As you can see, we are not in the Mach 1. We are actually in the Silverado. And what else are we going to go do today? We're going to go get the tires mounted on the wheels. So I hit up two places calling for quotes and stuff, and the first one gave me a quote of like 300 bucks. And I was like, <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. I'm definitely not going to you. And the second place gave me a quote of around $25 per wheel, which is perfectly fine. But they close at five and it's 3.43 right now and it takes us about 20 minutes to get there. So I'm trying to hurry up, also watching the tires, making sure that they don't fall off. But overall, I'm super excited and I can't wait to get there and get the tires mounted onto the wheel. So I'll probably see you when we get there. What is that? Oh, oh my Rebel just for Kickstarter. Silent! Big O tires. All right, let's go. All right, so I went ahead and dropped off the tires and wheels to them. And originally the plan was to record them mounting the tires onto the wheels. Maybe a little bit of slow-mo and some cool music in the background. But they seem pretty busy and I really don't want to mess with them, especially since they're my tires and my wheels. So I'm just going to let them do their own thing. So instead, we're just going to chill in here in the truck with the peasant right there. And you know it gets bad when you're asking your sister for money because you need valve stems. So I appreciate your gratitude and support. I will remember you when I'm successful. So we just got back from getting the tires mounted on the wheels and check this out. Check that out. That looks super awesome. Check out the meats on that, bro. Check out the meats on that. And by the way, for anyone who's wondering, I have the Toyo Proxies TQ 315, what are these, 35? 315, 35, 18. And can't wait to get these on. Alright, so here's a closer look at the setup, and as you can see, the 315s look a whole lot bigger than the 275s. Here's a better look, those are the 315s, those are the 275s, and man, these are gonna look killer on the Mach 1. The 315s are definitely big, but they're not as big as I thought that they would be. See, I'm not sure if I had higher expectations for the tire, but I thought it was gonna be massive and huge, and although it is, pretty massive and pretty huge. I was just expecting it to be a little bit wider. Maybe I've just been looking at too many photos on Instagram, but I thought they were gonna be huge. And the 315s fit great on the 10 and a half wheels, so I'm probably gonna step it up to a 335 for my next setup. I've heard from a lot of people that the Toyos tend to run a little bit wider than the Nittos. So if you're getting a 335 in Nittos, that's probably gonna be a 315 in Toyos. Maybe a little bit bigger, but I'm guessing that's around the same. I've heard from a lot of people that Nittos tend to run a little bit smaller. So I'm thinking that I could probably fit a 335 Nitto on the 10 and a half wheel, no problems at all. And that's probably what I'm gonna do if I have enough money for it when I burn these out. But so far, I mean, these are gonna look great and these are gonna look killer on the Mach 1. And I know you're probably expecting me to put them on the Mach 1 today, but unfortunately, that is not gonna happen. And I know some of y'all are gonna be like, what, dude, you hyped these wheels up so bad. Like, why can't you just put them on the Mach 1 already? And yeah, I have a simple answer for that. See, whenever you're putting wheels on a car, um, you need one vital thing. Actually, you need five vital things, and those are called lug nuts. And unfortunately, I don't have some right now. I ordered them from American Muscle, and I was hoping that they would be here yesterday, but they're not. They're gonna be here later this week. So unfortunately, I cannot put these wheels on the Mach 1 today, but they're definitely gonna be on on the next video. And for today's video, we're gonna do something equally as exciting. So the other day, I was just in my room and I was going through my Instagram, seeing like photos that I can delete or new photos that I can post. And I was looking at one photo in particular uh, where the Mach 1 is just kind of looking straight at the camera. And I was thinking, you know, that looks pretty cool, but there's something that I can improve on the front of the Mach 1. And and that is regarding the shaker scoop. I've seen a few Mach 1s on Instagram where they kind of have the shaker scoop and the front is kind of, it looks kind of like barbed wire. And I know that makes no sense at all, but here, let me show you real quick. So the shaker is completely black, but there's this front part, this part, which is actually silver, 
and it almost looks like wire. And I just think that that makes the Mach 1 look 10 times cooler. The shaker scoop actually looks like a shaker scoop instead of a black box sitting on top of a hood. And I think it looks super sick and most people would just get it powder coated and stuff like that. But me, I don't have the money for it, nor the time. Well, actually I do have the time, I just don't have the money for it. So today that's exactly what we're gonna do and it's gonna make the front end look 10 times better. And I know some of y'all are gonna ask, if you're not gonna powder coat it, then how are you gonna make it look like that? <laughs> Well, my friend, there's one simple solution for that. Spray paint. All right, so I went ahead and took off the shaker scoop from the Mach 1, and I just went ahead and separated it. And as you can see, this is what we get. And I get a bunch of people who ask me, bro, your shaker is so black. Like, how did you get it that way? And uh, spray paint. All right, so I went ahead and masked off everything that I don't want painted, and I like to say that I did a pretty good job at doing so. But now it's time for painting, and this is the scary part. I have no idea how it'll turn out. It could be the best thing in the world, or it could be the worst thing in the world. And basically what I'm gonna be using is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Paint and Primer in one. And I just had this laying around in the garage, and I think it's a pretty good match to get that barbed wired look, so uh... Let's go ahead and do this and uh, hopefully I don't mess up. <laughs> Looks very sparkly. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there are a few sparkles and it doesn't look bad, but it's just a little bit different. All right, so I went ahead and took off the masking tape and put the shaker scoop back on the Mach 1. And let's skip over to the next morning so we can see in the daylight how it looks. Bam! All right, it is currently the next morning and check this out. Yo, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. And of course it still has its minor imperfections, but for the most part, it came out looking pretty darn good. Definitely a whole lot better than what it used to be and for like five to 10 bucks, you can do this at home and it makes a huge difference. But overall, I'm super happy with the results and they look 10 times better than what they used to be. But anyways guys, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a comment, let me know what you guys thought. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure to share with your friends because we are almost at 1,000 subs. Not really, but it would be awesome to reach 1,000 by the end of the month. But anyways guys, thanks so much for the support and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace!